Hello everyone. Today's inspiration piece is called Re-Echo by Lee Krasner, done in 1957. Now Lee Krasner had a wonderful, fascinating life filled with personal tragedies and incredible triumphs. She was an American artist, abstract expressionist painter, and although she was very talented and accomplished in her career, she was often eclipsed by Jackson Pollock, whom she married in 1945, and unfortunately their life was marred by Jackson Pollock's infidelity and alcoholism and it had a deep emotional impact on her. Despite these setbacks, after her husband's death, she rose to the occasion and became a leading figure in abstract expressionism. And an art critic, Robert Hughes, described her as the mother courage of abstract expressionism. So, I'm going to take her painting called Re-Echo. And as you can see, it has a lot of pink in it and some very unusual color combinations. So, I will take inspiration from that and do a composition. So, relax, sit back, and I will be right back. Okay, everybody, back from a short break. And I'm going to start this session by doing my collage. This is my bib. And I'm going to lay down the foundation or scaffolding of this piece. Um, I noticed that in the inspiration piece, there's a lot of brown. So I have here some brown tissue paper and I'm going to make use of that instead of using paint. I thought it would be interesting to combine some collage elements. Instead of using paint I'm going to start with the largest piece. Again, I'm basing my composition on a grid design, almost like a quilt. 
and um, once you have the scaffolding or the structure down it's so much easier to keep building because you have a, a point of reference as opposed to trying to compose a picture with no plan. Some artists can do it. Uh, I'm not very good at doing that. Uh, creating a work of art without a plan. That's too difficult for me. I have to have a script of some kind. And that's from my background in printmaking, which is highly technical. And you can't just um, be very willy-nilly about your choices. Okay, that's it for the brown. Then I have some black here. These are the black accents. There. So this is the um, basic structure as a first layer. Uh, I forgot to mention I'm not using Somerset this time. I'm using Blick watercolor paper, which is quite thick. And I like the thickness because when I do collage, I'm using a lot of water. The water from the glue makes the paper buckle sometimes. And having a thicker paper gives it a little more strength. So when it dries, it can dry flat. Now had I been using... If I were using a thinner paper, it would be a problem. Uh, I might tear the paper. So that's the reason why I like to use a thicker paper when I'm doing collage. So anyway, this gets air dried and I will proceed to the next layer. Okay, the first thing I will do is mix some titanium white
and some of this deep magenta. Now I will see if I can arrive at that pink color that's in the inspiration piece. Because this is a color I rarely use, but I think it's a very interesting color. Pink has a lot of historical connotations. It's often associated with femininity. But if you look further back, before the 1950s, pink was really for boys and light blue was for girls. Who would have thought? It means our associations with color are really artificial. So let me see. Okay, I think I'm getting there. There we go. So I will start by doing the pink highlights. I'm going to do random. But I'm still following kind of a grid pattern. Okay, then I will overlap this with some raw sienna. my prayer now I will leave some areas without in other words i'm leaving some areas thinner and having a thinner application of paint okay and Again, I will introduce my own marks. Okay. So here is the first layer of collage. Now, even if this is carefully planned, I have no idea what the result is going to be. 
it's always a surprise. adding a little more pressure because I want the paint to transfer. Okay, I'm going to wait five minutes. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Very interesting result. Now the black is not as prominent, but that's okay. I will air dry this and then proceed to the next step. Okay, here's where the fun begins. I have here some pieces of scrap that I have offloaded my brayer on. And I think these will work. It has some teal in it, some blue in it. And I'm, I'm not trying to copy exactly the color scheme of Lee Krasner's work, but it's just a springboard, like a starting point. And uh, I think it's a good practice to do. You don't copy other people's work, but you, you use it as a starting point to discover your own. Um, I'm going to add some black highlights. going to put my bib back on. Sometimes I get too enthusiastic with the collage. I get messy and the bib makes sure that I don't drip all over the edges. Now this Mod Podge is watered down because um, 
it helps the glue to get absorbed by the tissue paper. Had I used this straight out of the jar, it would be too thick and it wouldn't take. Okay, that's it for the black. Now, in the inspiration piece, there are some teal highlights. Maybe they're not teal, maybe they're more like a phthalo green. Now again, I'm trying to work quickly because I don't want to overthink this. I'm doing something that is fairly instinctive. Okay, that's it for the teal highlights. Now I want to add some, I think this is going to work, some metallic copper.
Okay, I think that does it. I'm going to air dry this and then recap. I'm going to take the bib off now. And use my desk fan. Okay, it's somewhat dry, not completely dry, but um, I found my black Posca marker and I want to, I want to add this as a final flourish because I can't leave well enough alone. And as a final mark, I want to add a very large oval. Okay, I'm gonna call that finished. Actually, I, I, I'm not going to wait till this dries. I will show you a close up. Now you can see where all the layers of tissue paper combine. You have these different degrees of transparency. made by the brush on the plate. I will push this to one side and then show you comparison with the inspiration piece. Let's put this here. And as you can see, I took some aspects of the inspiration piece, like the color scheme and the black highlights but I reinterpret it and give it a 21st century interpretation. I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Please check out my new website, artwhisper88.com. And, uh, your support is always appreciated.
I hope to see you next time.